Dear MarTech, I want the blurred background look, but I can't find the setting to adjust this. Well, I wish there was a setting, but here's a six-step process that'll help you achieve that blurry background, what photographers sometimes call bokeh. And this is something that works with video or for stills, and whether you're shooting with Sony or Canon or whatever camera you've got. You'll need a camera with an aperture priority mode and manual focus. Interchangeable lenses help too. This works best on cameras with large sensors, but we're not saying you can't do it on smaller point-and-shoot cameras. First, select a prime lens that has a wide aperture or a longer zoom lens. We have two cameras with APS-C size sensors, paired with some high-quality glass. On the Sony A6000, we're using a 35mm f1.8 prime, and on the Canon 60D, a 24-105L series. Second, select a pretty background, like here in Toronto's High Park, and give yourself lots of distance between the camera and the background. The more distance, the better. Third, select Aperture Priority Mode, A on the mode dial, and open the iris as far as you can. That means a small f-stop number. On the Canon, you turn the dial and the setting appears on screen. That's f4. Most zooms don't have large apertures when zoomed in. On the Sony, you turn this dial. The setting appears on screen. Here, that's f1.8. Fourth, zoom in as far as you can. That may increase the f-stop. Fifth, compose the shot, moving the subject until they're framed properly. Then focus. The closer to the lens, the better. Sixth, check your exposure, adjusting ISO for stills or gain for video. This is not needed if you're using auto ISO. And generally, use the lowest ISO that you can. For stills, check the histogram to make sure you're not blowing out the whites or crushing the blacks. For movie mode, you may wish to change the shutter speed so it's between 1 60th and 1 20th, so the motion looks normal. If your camera supports zebra stripes, you can use that. If you set it for white skin at 70%, that's a good exposure range. And finally, if all of that makes your picture too bright, an ND filter on a sunny day will help you get your exposure under control. Now you're ready to start shooting. Dear MarTech, I want the blurred background, but I can't find the setting to adjust this. Well, there are many Sony models that offer this handy background defocus slider, but I think you'll prefer our manual six-step method. 